Hello everybody, this is Emma Void, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Hotful Boyfriend. Last we left off, we were dead, and the birds were investigating our murder, and Okosan found a, had seen a bloodstained stranger, but is actually just, you know, one of the other birds we've dated. He's not actually bloodstained, he just looks like that, because he's a bird. Coo! Coo! This one! This is the bloodstained stranger Okosan saw! Uh, that's that, then. We need to know what you did yesterday. Did you go into the infirmary? If I could, I would have. But only the Chosen One can stop the demon spores. Ah, <laughs> uh, Engel is just so completely over the top. And after what we saw earlier, I'm actually not certain that uh, when we did his routes, that that was actually at all real, considering he dragged, um, ah, dang it, what's his name? Ryota. He dragged Ryota into his silly game too, and then it was all just pretend. So, I don't know. In other words, he didn't. Useless. The gate was sealed with the power of darkness. However, Edel Blau did venture within. Edel Blau? Who is that? Explain in terms known to sane individuals, please. The Apostle of the Blue Sky, Edel Blau. She also goes by Void Emma. Emma went into... What? Dun dun dun. Hello? Game? Boop? Oh, there it is. Emma was in the infirmary yesterday, after school. But the doctor and Yuya said no one came, and nothing happened. They're lying. Dun 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 <laughs> uh, I still don't think it was probably the doctor who did it, though. It's too obvious. I'm still leaning towards the teacher. You are different from those peasants, Sakya. You were chosen from the day you were born. You must remain conscious of this. Yes, father. We are the chosen ones. It is our duty to guide the foolish common folk. Yes, father. Look at them, crawling in the mud. There is no value in their lives. Were it not for our compassion, they would die as miserably as they live. Yes, father. Their very blood is tainted. Their world is not yours. You must never speak with them again. Do you understand? Yes, father. Hmm. So I guess we're not just getting Ryota's background with these little flashbacks. To Japan. Yes, you will be staying there for some time. Arrangements have already been made for your education. Remember, you must such... You must such... You must do such as to bring honor to our family, Sakia. Yes, father. Also, Dr. Iwamine is in residence at the institution you will be attending. He is a prestigious doctor. It would not be exaggerating to say that our current glory is thanks in part to him. Do not disrespect him. Yes, father. Hmm. Although, right, it still could be the uh, handyman. I don't know. Engel saw Emma going into the infirmary yesterday, and then the door was locked. The doctor and Yuya must have seen her. What happened in there? They must both be lying. Yuya has been helping us all this time, and I don't want to suspect him, but he's clearly been hiding the truth. Could Yuya be covering for the doctor? We don't know that for sure. The mongrel could be lying to cast doubt on Dr. Yuemine. It's not impossible, but from what we've seen so far, the most likely conclusion is that they're working together. Sakuya. You were the one who said we needed to remove our biases. 
We need to solve this. Mm, I am aware. I want to go confront them now, but with only Ingel's testimony, my evidence is a little weak. They'll probably slip out again. Slip out of it again if we go now. They're both much more eloquent than I am, and they'll try to dodge the issue. Which means we need to search the infirmary. Do you intend to go in without asking? Yeah. The more stealthily we do it, the better, right? If a doctor finds out, he'll come up with some way of stopping us for sure. Mm, understood. I will go to the lab and keep them occupied while you search the infirmary. Thank you, Sakia. Wow, Sakia is being helpful. Leon, that's his name. A moment, gentlemen. Mr. Leon, I have something for you. Sorry for being late. I was somewhat delayed. What are these? The first is the massive key. It should open just about any of the simple locks in the school, and is as bright and massive as its owner. <laughs> what? Uh... The other is a stun gun. If you need to protect yourself, use it. You will have more use for those than I, Kawara. Hold on to them. Right. Thank you, Mr. Leon. Massive key. As massive and incandescent as the sun. Maybe I should write in the notes before I go to the infirmary. <laughs> Damn it. The hour of judgment has come. You cannot use the Dark Tree's power here. Return to the void, Wallenstein. Well, he seems excited. I wonder what the doctor is doing. I'm being slandered by Mr. Higure, as you can see. Please stop breaking school property, Mr. Higure. I have returned from Judeka to defeat you. As long as you live, calamitous sorcerer, the world will be wrapped in eternal despair. When he says things with such conviction, I almost find myself believing them. Please, that isn't funny. Yes, yes. Come on, Higure. Let's go back to the gym, okay? No, stop! Do not throw me out like some wretched doll! I suspect he has suffered from megalomania since birth. Megalomania? Whatever do you mean? Delusions of grandeur. Eschewing societal standards, he lives his life in the midst of some bizarre fantasy. Perhaps it is genetic. Mm, there would be no helping it then, would there? He is unusually active in the destruction of his surroundings, especially given his physique. Internal prejudice is a terrible thing, I suppose. He is no doubt exerting to the limits of his capacity at all times. The most dangerous part is his ability to bring his surroundings into his fantasy. Though I seem to be less affected than you. Hmm. So yeah, that, that actually gives credence to what I was thinking. And since, although I invited him to the school, I have yet to find a use for him, the whole thing has been nothing but a waste of time. Did you say something just now, Doctor? Nothing. Nothing at all. Hmm. Nick? Excuse me. Oh, hello, Shirogane. What's going on? Where did Kawara go? He is investigating another area at the moment. Only Dr. Iwamine and Nan Nanaki here now. Isn't, isn't Sakazaki here? I think he's a, he's walking around to calm his nerves again. He is very brave to be out and about with that scarecrow on the loose. Not brave, just imprudent. Stupid mongrel. Stop pretending to be migratory and get back here so I can distract you. I wanted to occupy both of them if possible, but at least they don't realize that we suspect them yet. Just the doctor should be enough. Dr. Iwamine, I came here to ask your opinion of something. My opinion? I fear I will not be of much use to you there. My body has never required me to visit the infirmary. 
I have not had much occasion to talk to a doctor since moving here, but I can read his expression perfectly well all the same. It says, I'm not telling you anything. Where is... where is Mr. Kawara? Did you have a falling out? Mm, he did seem to be sus... Uh, oh, he did seem to be suspecting me based on nothing but his own prejudice. Pity. I agree, sir. To doubt someone based merely on one's own preconceptions is... Deliverness, sir. It is nonsense. That's right. I must be perfectly logical in all things. You are renowned, you are renowned as one of the most intelligent birds in the world, Doctor. I do not think that you could be involved in such a grisly crime as this. It is an honor to be so praised by the heir to the LaBelle family. <laughs> Completely flat. Does he never speak with emotion? I hold a deep respect for you, Doctor. You might not be aware, but my father owes his life to your medicine. A few years ago, your work allowed the LaBelle family to continue on to even greater glory. Is that so? I had not known. I am afraid that I know little of the fates of the drugs that I develop. The life of but one bird may not be significant to you, but we of the LaBelle family will never forget. <laughs> How wonderful. I take it your father is a figure of great respect. Of course. The family head must always be honored. It would seem that you hold your own biases even more dearly than Mr. Kawara holds his, almost like the foundation of your very existence. <laughs> ah, read like a book. I would rather like to see the expression on your face when that foundation collapses. <laughs> right, well, see how Ryota's doing. <sighs> Locked. Has it been locked ever since the alarm this morning? The doctor went straight to the lab to begin the autopsy, and I think he's been with somebody else ever since. Let's see. Maybe that massive thing Mr. Leon gave me will do the trick. Yes! This room has always been a little creepy, but it's even worse in this dim light. I need to look for evidence that Emma was in here, quickly. But where do I start? The longer I spend poking around in corners, the bigger the risk that I'll get caught. I need to remember, I've been in here a lot, every time I got sick. Where would the doctor hide something he didn't want anyone else to see? Didn't he forbid even his assistants from touching his desk? Ah, that's what I was thinking. Just in case, though. Let's uh, do a save real quick. It would seem he keeps his drawers, his drawers locked tight. You're up, massive thing. Inside our medical records. He's probably supposed to keep personal information locked up, though I never really thought of him as the respectful type. There are only one, two, three, four files. The names are Kawara Ryota, Void Emma, Fujishiro Nagaki, and Shirogane Sakuya. Hmm. What? I'm not surprised to see a file on me in here, but Emma and Sakuya never had any reason to be in here, and Fujishiro Nagaki. Looking closely, Nagaki's folder says St. Pigeonation's Medical Center on the side, while the others don't. And the date is from five years ago. Did he take this from the Medical Center? Since it's here, he must know something about the fire back then. Are the other three records from physical exams? They're full of strange symbols and numbers, and I'm not sure what they mean. Huh? Sakia's has a second piece of paper in it. it looks like some sort of memo, or... Uh-oh. Ah! A sudden blinding pain in the back of my head. Welp. I can't move. I fall unconscious. Uh, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate, but I also kind of saw it coming. Where am I? I feel dizzy. <gasps> that's right, I was looking for evidence in the infirmary. The medical records are gone. Somebody took them. I managed to get knocked out even with the stun gun Mr. Leon gave me. Darn it. I don't know who attacked me, but those records must have been important to get stolen away like that. Ah, darn it! 
Why did I let myself get taken from behind like that? I had our records. Even with those, it would have been hard to prove anything. Whoever attacked me must have been the criminal. They probably wouldn't leave anything, but maybe they missed a clue in here somewhere. Huh? I hadn't noticed earlier, but there's a card under the desk, in a corner. I wouldn't have noted I wouldn't have seen if I weren't on the floor. This is Emma's student ID. There's blood on the corner. So it wasn't dropped here by accident before she was killed. It must have happened in here. Huh. Well at least we got the proof we needed. It looks like my doubts about the doctor are confirmed. But for some reason I still feel unsure. I almost feel like this is too good to be true, like I'm being led along. And if the doctor were behind it all, surely he could avoid casting so much doubt on himself. Just what is he after, anyway? But I'm not worried about who is doing what and why. I'm worried about finding the one who did this to Emma. I need to talk with Sakia. Right. That went about as well as could be hoped. So, you think it would you think it would take a fair amount of time to cut a human up like this and distribute them into boxes, Doctor? Mm, correct. Even if she were cut up last night and distributed this morning, it would involve a good deal of physical labor. Sakuya? You again. Can we go to the maintenance room? We need to talk. Mm, very well. Mr. Shirogane. Yes, Doctor. Just as an aside, it would be impossible for one such as myself. Even even with the knowledge and tools of a, of a physician. Even so, I'm not a particularly healthy person. No, not a healthy person. The doctor is slightly impaired down his right side, you know. He is. I never knew. I was injured long ago. My right wing never fully recovered, though it rarely poses problems in daily life. A human corpse is heavy. It seems like a bit much to go dragging around with one wing, don't you think? Now, this has me wondering if they're, like, people-sized. That that's even a consideration. Ah. Yes, it's all true. It's even recorded in the faculty medical records. It is? I see. Thanks. I'll remember that. I tell Saki about what I found in the infirmary as we head to the maintenance office. Meaning, Fujishiro Nagaki's records and the doctor have something to do with the medical center? I think so, yeah. I wonder about the other records, too. Why you, me, and Emma all together? Could that really be a coincidence? Did you go there often after you moved here or anything? Not once. Nobility knows no illness. Yeah. I've never seen him sick, and he always seems pretty lively. I hadn't known about the doctor's injury. Kind of a bad thing to find out now. Bad? Because it is inconvenient to your theory? We must remain just. No harm can ever come from learning more of the truth. I guess so. Maybe it's because he's not very active, or because he never leaves the infirmary, but I guess I've never really had a chance to notice his disability. If he couldn't have done it alone, it makes it more seem more likely that he was working together with Yuya. Mm, blasted mongrel. No good can ever come of his presence. He merely confuses the issue. Salutations! Were you gossiping about me? Yuya! What a pickle. Oh, what a pickle. I guess I'm the topic of choice among the boys as well as the girls now. Not that I mind. Don't let it get to your head, mongrel. We weren't saying anything good about you. <laughs> That's right, Yuya. From your point of view, we were subjecting you to vile slander and ill gossips. <laughs> You're very frank, Ryota. Nothing wrong with that. What kind of slander? Perhaps you shouldn't say, lest my fragile heart shatter like a maiden's crystal glass dropped by an unkind lover. 
it should be obvious what we were talking about from our faces alone, but he's completely relaxed. I doubt his heart is made of glass, though. Used tires, maybe. Something that is completely impervious to abuse. Your unsolicited presence saves us the trouble of looking for you. We demand answers from you. You lied. You met Void in the infirmary yesterday. Did you kill her? <laughs> so you doubt me? I'd love to see your evidence. We found her ID stained with blood in the infirmary. You are duty-bound to answer. What did you see in the infirmary yesterday? And what did you do? Well, I can't tell you anything. Sorry. I can't say anything at all. Cease this foolishness. You know something, don't you? Do not attempt to dodge the... <laughs> oh, that's what he meant. I can't say anything. <laughs> Run, you two! I almost wonder if the Scarecrow isn't, like... Emma. <laughs> It isn't us. Like, her brain was cut out and stuffed into that machine. And again, I feel like the doctor would mention something if her brain were missing. He hasn't exactly been hiding a whole lot. I don't know. Uh, such terrible timing. Nobody likes a man- nobody likes a man who can't read the atmosphere, Mr. Scarecrow. Is this the time for jokes? Run! Go! Ugh. Ryota seems to have left us in the dust. Maybe we should hurry up a little. Well, it doesn't look like it's noticed us. I guess it's not too keen on chasing people. Your idle flirtations sicken me. Filthy mongrel. Shh. Do you want it to hear us? Hmm. How about this? I'll go first and lure Mr. Beanpole Man towards the cafeteria. You head for the maintenance room while it's distracted, okay? You plan to act as a decoy? Don't think this will stop me from suspecting you. I wasn't asking you to. I've been your ally until now, so why stop now? Our ally? Anyway, run for it as soon as we're out of sight. Adieu. Uh, Sakuya, you're okay. I was worried that maybe you got caught. Mm, indeed. Isn't Yuya with you? We never got him to answer anything. I do not know. He ran in the opposite direction. Hmm. We don't have much time left. I think the only thing to do is get him to talk to us and then confront the doctor. He's been helping us this whole time, but I don't know if we can still consider him all our ally. Our ally? Indeed. You've always been separated, right? So you don't really know how he usually acts, or if he'd be likely to do something like this, or... How could I know? He and I live in different worlds. As my father said, I couldn't know. I'm an only child, so I don't really understand siblings, but I think I know how you feel about him, Sakiya. Do not make me repeat myself. He and I have no connection. But I want to believe that he is not my enemy. Looks like Sakiya isn't entirely sure what to think. The prime suspects are the doctor who aided his family and his own half-brother. If I were given the same situation, I wouldn't be as calm as he is. We should write in the notes, then go talk to the doctor. Go find out exactly what happened in the, in the infirmary. We figured out a lot of things, but there's still a lot that remains a mystery. It's 6pm. We don't have much time. Can we solve this and get out alive in only four hours? Alright, let's go, Saki- Huh? Sakia? Your friend already left, young one. Why didn't you say so earlier? <laughs> He's planning to confront the doctor alone. 
Uh oh. Father is of the pure bloodline, and so his life is of the utmost value. By extension, the doctor who saved his life must also be valuable. I must not disrespect him, because that is what father told me. My brother, born of a low father, is a worthless being. Though he looks noble, his veins flow with filthy, impure blood. I must not associate with those of low birth, because that is what father told me. But I am no longer sure. What is blood? Why does it divide us so? Wow, actually second-guessing his dad. Without, you know, Emma being the one who led him to do it. Ah, uh, here's my main suspect. Oh, hello again, Shiogane. Where's the doctor? He said he was going back to the infirmary. Maybe he forgot something there. Mm, thank you. You're going right after him. Don't you want any tea? Well, be careful. He looked rather troubled. I hope he's alright. Hmm. Doctor. Hmm, Mr. Shirogade. You look quite fatigued. Would you care rest for a little while? You... You are wrong, are you not, sir? Whatever could you mean? I wish to learn the truth. What did you and Sakazaki do? Which of you decided to kill Void? Hmm, that's not something to say without proof, Mr. Shirogane. But then, we have but little time left. Perhaps I shall explain things to you. I did not kill Miss Void. This is the truth. Of course. How could I let myself be swayed by idle rumors? The doctor could not possibly carry out such an atrocity. Mr. Sokazaki did not kill her either. Which raises the question, who did? Sokazaki admitted that he was involved in the crime. He could not possibly be... I merely said that he did not kill her. I did not say he wasn't involved. Of course, the same applies to myself. The two of you did not kill her, but were involved. But then, who did kill her? Oh dear me, this won't do. Talking to you makes me feel like I'm about to fall asleep. I sub- Uh-oh. I suppose these are the limits of a mere mongrel. What did he just say? Doctor, I- Could you be quiet for a minute, Mr. Shiogane? You bore me. You filthy- Low-born mongrel. Huh. Or, what are you saying, sir? I am not like Saka- You did well. Thanks to you, Mr. Kawara has found almost everything he needs. Just one more push and he'll be done. Thank you, Mr. Shiogane. A glint of white steel. His left wing slowly traces an arc through the air. I'm dying. I'm dying. What did he say? Why was I left behind? I can't think. Hmm. Hmm? Is he dead? Is he not dead? Ah! Sakazaki! Stop that, Isa! I told you not to touch my brother! Suddenly, Sakazaki Yuya blocks out the sun. Blood is spreading across the floor. I am unhurt. Who's... Ah, look who's injured. Y your wing. Such beautiful brotherly love, Mr. Sakazaki. You were the real hero all along, of course. I only promised that I wouldn't tell other people. Not that I wouldn't tell him myself. Or that I wouldn't kill him. And after all that work to steal the records from Mr. Kawara, too. <sighs> yeah, you've always been like this. A coward and villain to the core. Oh, such flattery. What are you doing, Doctor? Why? Why are you doing this? I told you, remember? You bore me. Now that you have helped Mr. Kawara as much as you can, I have no more use for you. 
Why should I put up with your babbling now that I'm done with you? I do not understand, sir. What did you and Sakazaki... This is exactly what I'm talking about. I have no responsibility to explain to you. Goodbye, Mr. Shirogane. No! Don't move, Sakuya. Sakuya! Oh, Mr. Kawara. We were just discussing you. Yuya standing over Sakuya, blood running down his body. The doctor is standing next to them. There's no question about what's happened. Doctor! So it was you all along? <laughs> was it? I wonder about that. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Sakazaki. Say something. <laughs> Don't worry, he won't die just yet. I'm sure you'll enjoy a confession or two, so ask him all you want. Wait, Doctor? What? No. No! <laughs> That's even worse than I thought. Uh, the Scarecrow. Mm, there you are, Labor Nine. I was waiting for you. Come, let us go. Ah, so the Doctor definitely did create that. Uh, Labor Nine? Is that the Scarecrow's name? So he was working under the doctor this whole time. Hmm. Just a little more, Mr. Kawara. Do you think you'll remember soon? Stop running away. You killed Emma. I will never forgive you. I'm glad you're so lively. That's good. I shall be waiting for you deep beneath the surface. Chase me, Mr. Kawara. I reach out. I can't reach. The Doctor and the Scarecrow are gone. Don't go chasing after the beanpole man on your own, Ryota. A good man keeps his cool, even in times like this. Don't speak! You're still bleeding! <laughs> Don't worry. Who the hell do you think I am? I'll be fine. I know my limits better than anyone else. I won't die to a little scalpel. Getting whacked with a cleaver would have been bad, but... There are plenty of bandages here. Sakia, wait here. I'll go get Mr. Leon. Wait. Ryota. I have things to tell you. Can you wait long enough to hear my confession? Like the doctor said, there's no time to waste. So let me tell you everything I can. This might be our last chance. It's too late, Sakazaki. If you were involved, why didn't you tell us before? <laughs> we had a deal. Of course, he broke it without a second thought. The doctor and I did not kill her. That is the truth. But then why did he... She died in this room. After school yesterday. That is also the truth. Then there was someone else. Yes. Right as always, Sakuya. And that third person killed Emma? Who was it? I'm sorry. I can't tell you that. I think you'll figure it out. I have to apologize to you. The doctor and I were the ones who cut her up. So you stuffed her into those boxes. It was the time. The doctor needed to be sure of when she'd be found. He decided morning would be would give time for the most humans to gather. I suppose he probably thought putting her in the print boxes was funny too. The most humans? Why would it looks like I stayed on the fence to the very end. I didn't have the resolve to go either way. If only things had been a little different. <coughs> I I thought you said you'd be fine. Are you worried for me? I'm honored. Could you go outside for a bit, Ryota? We'll go to the maintenance office afterwards. Just for a little. I want to talk to Sakuya alone.
have a new father now, Yuya. He has a beautiful mansion, and you'll be moving there tomorrow. But your new father says he doesn't want your brother. He says he can only feed you if you leave the egg behind. Mother is sad. He is her son, too. I will go. I will throw my brother away, mother. Give me the egg. The new father killed my father. I know he did. He killed him so he could take mother from him. I waited. Until she laid a new egg. Until she laid an egg with father's with the new father's child inside. I had hid him away in the mansion. And I switched them. So he'll raise my brother as his own son. The new father hates me. But he will love my brother. He will give him nice food and nice clothes and a nice bed. My brother will not know. No one will know but me. I hate the new father. I took the new egg, and I smashed it. Ah. Neat. That's a fun little bit of drama there. I've always thought that maybe I should have told you. The doctor did not lie. You're the same as me, Sakuya. We were never half-brothers. You are my real brother. Im impossible. I am the heir of the LaBelle family. Father told me so. Everyone told me so. I was raised for no other purpose. I never told anyone that I'd switched the eggs. If Father found out now, he'd throw you away. I did it for you. No, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just did it to spite that man. I killed the child he had with Mother. That was the cross I had to bear. It was never your problem. I was happy just to see you living in luxury. You, under what authority? <laughs> None. You're right, I only ever listen to myself. But the doctor noticed. He must have realized. I guess I was doing what he said all along, since I took your lineage. The fact that I killed the LaBelle, the other father's child, will never leave me. I've never been able to forget. If you're blamed for that child's death, you have to press on. You can't let it stop you. I always worried about whether I should tell you or not. And now it's too late. So, fool, to deny me my lineage now. I'm sorry, Sakuya. I should have told you long ago. I was never as sure of myself as you. If... If I am not of the LaBelle line, what am I? I knew you'd ask that. Straightforward, as always. <laughs> Leave this place, Sakuya. And think about it, long and hard. You have a lot more to worry about than just who your family is, after all. No, wait, Sakazaki! Stay with me! There is still much for you to tell me! <laughs> it's been a long time since we talked this much. I talked to you every day when you were still an egg. Pull yourself together, Yuya. You can't leave like this. You said a little scalpel like that couldn't kill you. I should apologize about that, too. Remember the headmaster? That was nerve toxin. You mean that scalpel had... Go on, Sakuya. Leave your liar brother and go. The doctor must have a way out of here. You are yourself. Never let anyone tie you down. Later, buddy. Yuya! Yuya! <laughs> I'm sorry, so this, this whole bit is, like, very well done and dramatic and everything, but it's still a couple of pigeons. Ah... Uh... But also, the very epic music is really good. I like it a lot. <laughs> uh.
How many class periods does this school have? It's 6 p.m. I haven't had much of a sense of time passing since the dome appeared, but it's already evening. The atmosphere in the maintenance office is tense. The doctor said he'd be waiting deep beneath the surface. Does this building have a, have a basement? Hmm. Certainly not one that appears on the official plans. But maybe. Under the medical center. But that one's blocked off with concrete. It does not seem to me that the medical center is an entirely independent building. There may well be a path from this building into the basements there. Is there anywhere you might have missed something? Missed something? Or forgotten something? Somewhere I forgot to look. Oh. That's right. The encyclopedia from the library in the medical center. And the chronology in the medical records. I'd like to talk to Nagaki again. <laughs> You've thought of something. Yeah, I need to go check. Sakuya. Oh, poor Sakuya. He hasn't spoken since what happened in the infirmary. I can't blame him. I know how he feels. Better to leave him alone. Especially since, you know, he can't talk to the dead bird anyway. I know. I'm worried about it, too. You're fading again. Where are you? I wonder if he was talking to Emma. Nagaki, there you are. What is it? I found out a lot about the school. And about you. Oh, I see. I suppose you know who I am, then. Sort of, but... There are things I need to ask you. That's why I'm here. The fire five years ago and the dome today. How are they related? Nagaki must know something about the secrets this school holds. You aren't really here anymore, are you? That might be so. Or it might not. I saw in the school records. It says you died five years ago in an accident in the medical center. I had become aware of that. I stopped my own clock here. That's why I can never leave. You stopped your... In other words... At the very least, I took my life through my own will. I am almost sure of that. So, you didn't die in the accident. He hangs his head in silence. Looks like he can't remember everything from before he died. I need a clue. There must be a basement under the medical center, and I need to get in there. Oh, that's right. The encyclopedia. Encyclopedia? You used to go to the medical center, right? Did you switch one of the encyclopedias from there with one here? Why would... That's what I want to know. I guess I should just tell him. Look, you know how the encyclopedias here are out of order. There are two copies of Volume 9 and no Volume 6. The medical center has the same encyclopedias? Yeah, there are two copies of 6 there and no 9. Uh, how disorderly. Yeah. Anyway, one of the copies of Volume 6 there has a library sticker on it. Someone must have taken it from here. Switch the encyclopedias. Mr. Kawara, try reading this copy of Volume 9. Looking's worth a thousand spoken words, I guess. Huh? This isn't right. It looks just like another book when it's closed, but... It's... a box. <laughs> You're telling me in the five years since the fire, nobody has opened that book. Actually, no, that makes perfect sense. Okay, continue. It's full of files. Some sort of documents. They're all from five years ago. These must have been... What does it say? That one. Let's see. Operation Hatoful. This is talking about using carrier individuals as biological weapons to fight humans? 
It has the same title as the file in the headmaster's office. But I never expected anything like this. Meaning, this school has been being used for biological weapons development for at least five years. 2180, new strains of Sumatra influenza isolated. 2183, a new strain has been isolated from Fujishiro Nagaki. It is lethal to humans and has been named Charon virus. It has entered research at St. Pigeonation's Medical Center. Charon virus. Humans, I meant, would always get very sick. Are you remembering something? Yes, I think so. I think I was the one who brought that book here. The birds with me in the medical center often did secret things in the reference room. I wanted to tell someone, tell someone important what was happening in the center. What was it? My family? It must have been my family. That's right. I burned. I had to disappear. Why didn't I notice? Did I need your help to see? He paces nervously in circles, rambling on to himself. If you've realized something, it would help me to know what it is. I've remembered. Remembered what happened here five years ago. Dun dun dun. I can't remember my parents' faces. I lived in an orphanage with other birds my age since before I could remember. I never thought much of it at the time, but apparently every birdie there was a war orphan. But I did not resent the humans who had started the war. I did not care. I thought that living with other chicks and no parents was as natural as could be. One day, the endless routine was broken, and some humans broke into the orphanage. They had guns and kept shouting, Free humanity! Free humanity! I think that's what they said. They barricaded themselves in our house and killed us one at a time. I was helpless. I could only hide in the corner and weep as my family was killed before my eyes. I don't know how much time had gone by since they came. When I looked around the silent room, they were all collapsed on the floor. Birds had come to save us. They had come and killed the evil humans. That is what I thought. But. You have been granted a great power. You are one of the chosen few. I left the orphanage with my one remaining sibling, and we lived in an apartment. But I was weak and couldn't go to school or get a job. I was nothing but a burden. And then I received the invitation. We wish to welcome you with special treatment. How would you like to study at the world's foremost avian school? We will provide anything you need, anything at all. There's a hospital on the school grounds. We will provide a room for you to live there. You shall receive all the care you require. I was living with my brother. I did not want to leave him. But if I continued to live with him, I would only hold him down. Hmm. Interesting. So who was his brother? He was happy to hear that I would have a chance to improve my physical condition. And so I enrolled in St. Pigeonations. I was still weak, and so I often stayed in my room. I had no friends, but I was not unhappy. The nurses and faculty were all very kind to me. And then, early in my first summer vacation, the doctor made a proposal to me. This vacation is the perfect opportunity. Would you like to go undergo intensive treatment? You'll have to stay inside for some time, but by the end of the summer, you should be as healthy as any other bird in the school. And so began a long summer in the underground facility. First, a routine of daily examinations and numerous medications. And then the experiments began. The experiments to kill humans. A human would be brought to me. They would struggle and gasp. And then, with a last painful sigh, they would stop moving. I knew why I was brought here. Living in my body was a virus deadly to humans in a matter of minutes. My parents, whose faces I never knew, were killed by humans. 
Everyone else in the orphanage was killed by humans. And in return, I killed another human with each experiment. Simply by standing in the same room as me, by breathing the same air as me, they would collapse. I couldn't stand it. I had no reason not to hate them, but watching them die in front of me shaved away at my heart little by little. And so I decided to end it all. I had only one wish. I wanted... I wanted to disappear from this world without a trace. Oof, Nagaki. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, the Charon virus. The deadly guest that made its home in my body. That is what they called it. No doubt they were searching for a way to destroy humanity with that virus. That was Operation Hotoful? Yes. That's why I... That's why I burned it all five years ago. There should have been nothing left, but... I am... not here. But maybe, just maybe, there's still something left somewhere. And I can feel him, close by. My... Mr. Kawara. Are you going to the basement? I don't have a choice. To find a way out of here alive, and to find out why they killed Emma, I need to ask the doctor. Uh, I see. That encyclopedia. What else is inside? Oh. A piece of paper folded up along with the files. This is... a map of the medical center. When I was there, I went in through the medical center, but it must connect to the main building somewhere near here. Oh, that was Nagaki talking, not Ryota. Whatever. Um, that looks like the gym, so their stairs are... I believe it's in the chemistry preparation room. The researchers often went in there. The doctor is beneath the preparation room. Thank you, Nagaki. I have to go. Yes, I think you will be seeing me again, and... Miss Void as well. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. A staircase in the preparation room? I've never noticed one. I wonder where it could be. If the Scarecrow went down there with the Doctor, it would need to be a pretty big opening. We'll have to go and look. 7pm already. We only have three hours until we're overrun with bloodthirsty humans. We don't know for sure if there's an escape route in the basement, but it's our best bet. Maybe we should get every birdie from the gym to come with us as soon as we find the stairs. <laughs> Leave that to me. Mr. Leon. I'll take care of the other students. Don't worry, I'm not a massive agent for nothing. <laughs> uh... Well then, thank you, Mr. One. Um, you aren't going with him, sir? I'm going to come with you, Kawara. We never know what could happen. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I am your homeroom teacher, after all. You've done such a good job so far. I want to be there to help you if things get dangerous. What about you, Sakuya? You two, go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Right. Okay. We're going to get out of here together, okay? Too much has happened today for both Sakuya and me. I don't know what's on his mind, and he doesn't seem interested in telling me, but if he wants to be alone, that's for the best. I guess it's the two of us then, Mr. Nanaki. If something bad happens, one of us can come back to warn you and the others, Mr. Leon. Understood. <sighs> Commence Operation Breakout it is then. Not so fast. <laughs> Ain't go. Uh, Angel? What does he want now? We don't have time for messing around. Textoris Melodia Funis, you travel now to the Abyss of Despair, do you not? Uh, 
the abyss of despair? I sense demon spores far greater in power than even those released by the Tree of Blight. I cannot allow you to face the Dark Sorcerer of Wallenstein alone. The Wallenstein guy is the doctor, right? Okay, uh... We are coming for you, Wallenstein! Wait, Angel, we need to be careful! Wait! <laughs> he certainly is lively. Let's go. Right, well, this should be good. I think this is the first time I've been in here. It's kind of bland. Hmm, yes. Not a very friendly room, but not distasteful either. This place is flooded with demon spores. Any good bird would normally avoid it. Can you think of anything, sir? Is it like a hidden door, or...? I don't come here very much, so... Mm. Do you feel a draft? A draft? There are no windows in here. It must be coming in from the basement. Be silent, my crimson breast. We must hold it back, or the eulogy of doom will... Gate of Erebus, guide me to the abyss! Wait, calm down, Engel. You can't... <laughs> Just go crashing through everything. Oh, there it is. So it was behind the mirror all along. <laughs> he... He's a lot more clever than he acts, isn't he? Even if he does spout nonsense whenever he opens his beak. Let us proceed, Textorus Melodia Funis. The master of the abyss waits, awaits us below. A long, dark staircase winds downwards toward the mirror, behind the mirror. How far does it go? The basement itself should be pretty big. This is sort of like the entrance into a subway tunnel. Let's go. Very impressive. This is a lot fancier than I expected. I never knew this huge place was underneath the school. The facility has been used for research to kill humans since the school was founded. I... Emma... None of us ever knew. We lived our carefree lives with all this going on beneath our feet. Hmm, I don't see anybody. I wonder if it's closed now. Yeah, it's clean and orderly, but I don't get the feeling that it's still in use. There was a fire somewhere down here five years ago, and since then the whole facility's been shut up. I suppose they froze whatever project they were working on. Hmm. So maybe that's why Emma died. I don't know. Hey, Ingo. Which way do you think we should go to find the doctor? That would be... Ah, my crimson breast murmurs. The Midnight Hunter approaches. Midnight Hunter? Oh dear. Couldn't you have said so earlier? <laughs> oh dear. If we don't get past him, we can't go on. We cannot reach Wallenstein without first defeating his dark servant. The trial cannot be avoided. But all we've ever managed to do is run away from this thing. How can we... Yeah. We can't get anywhere just by running away. Do we have any sort of weapon? A weapon? I do have the stun gun Mr. Leon lent me. Will it even work on a scarecrow? Mm, maybe not at normal outputs, but it looks like a living creature, so I doubt it would be completely unaffected. The Midnight Hunter is a hound bred from the Black Void. We must purify it with holy water. Oh yes, that's a good idea. W what? What did he even say? There's a fire hose on the wall there. If we time it right... Mr. Nanaki wobbles toward the wall and pulls out the hose. Of course. Ready. He points the hose at the scarecrow and opens the valve. Engel, sir, get back. I set the stun gun to maximum and hurl it at the scarecrow.
Dead Scarecrow? It collapses with an unpleasant noise. Its electrified metal arm twitches for a moment, but then it is still. We did it! Electricity is a powerful thing indeed. The thunderous voice of doom! Judgment has come! <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow. Onwards. Disgraceful. What am I doing here? La Belle is not allowed hesitation. No. I have not even the right to claim that restriction anymore. Yuya. Foolish. No, not ish at all. I am a fool. I have been pampered my entire life. While in my shadow, he crawled along under the weight of a crime of which only he knew. I have been nothing but vain and selfish. Ah, uh, what should I do, Yuya? Coo, coo! It is Sakuya. Sakuya is here. Leave. No one wanted you to come here. Coo! Everyone is leaving. It is a grand, daring escape. Coo, coo! Sakuya will find Ryota with Okosan. Away we go! Shut up. Don't talk to me. Coo, Sakuya weeps. N no, I do not. It's raining. Coo, coo! Is Sakuya in pain? That is bad. We must do something about it. Coo, coo, coo! Okosan used healing touch. <laughs> I forgot that Okosan is basically a Pokemon. Confound you! Must I repeat? Coo, coo! Okosan knows. Okosan heard that Yuya has gone somewhere far, far away. We will never see him again. So, they told you. Coo! Do not worry. If we cannot meet him, we need only chase after him. Do you have any idea what you're saying? Death is not a good place to chase someone to. Uh, no doubt the older breeds have no concept of death. Chase Yuya into the grave? What kind of fool would... Coo! Okosan knows. The earth is a ball, so if we run far enough, we will find him. Uh, what foolishness. Speaking with mongrels makes my head hurt. Except I am a mongrel too. Poor mongrels who do not notice even their own error, that is... Coo, coo! Okosan is not a mongrel! Coo! Sakuya and Yuya and Okosan all have their own wonderful names. Names more important than any breed. <laughs> is that your argument? That isn't even... You are yourself. Never let anyone tie you down. <sighs> I am myself. Coo, coo! It is time to go. Okosan and friend are late. Coo! Kick reason to the curb. Time to blast out of this prison and find Yuya. Oko is always brimming with useless energy, as he was. As he was. Am I the same, perhaps? We will never see him again, no matter how far we run. But, if he were here now, what would he do? What would he want me to do? At any rate, Moping around here won't get us anywhere. Two more hours. I will chase after him. I will never find him. But I will find myself. Let us go, Oko. There is nothing more for us here. Cool, cool! Sakuya is best when he acts cool. After Ryota, full speed ahead! Well, that was surprisingly adorable. <laughs>